How would you clone the biggest YouTuber in the world? I'm going to fool the entire internet by creating the ultimate Mr. Beast lookalike. I've been on a mission to get in a Mr. Beast video. He's one of my biggest inspirations, so getting to collaborate with him would be a dream come true. In my last video, I tried a bunch of crazy stuff to get his attention, but it didn't work. So me and my genius friends are going to create the ultimate clone of Jimmy Donaldson. That's Mr. Beast's real name. So that we can go viral and get into one of his YouTube videos. So here's the plan. Find someone who looks a little bit like Mr. Beast and transform their personality and appearance until they're a perfect Mr. Beast clone. I found the website that casting directors use to find actors for their Hollywood movies, and I put out a call looking for an actor that looks just like Mr. Beast. It's been up for about a week already, and the applicants I've gotten haven't been great. We have to go back. We left her. We left her alone. Yeah, so it might not be as easy as we thought. All right, just find the top 10 people, bring them here. We'll do auditions in person. Please don't bring that guy. We are here at the live auditions for the Mr. Beast lookalike. Casey spent all day lining up a bunch of actors to audition for the role. Casey, you want to call in the first person? I think we're going to be one and done because this first guy is a dead ringer for Mr. Beast. Um, Brent? Brent, are you here? Hey there, my day rate is 10,000 a day. Here's my headshot. I think it speaks for itself. Have a good day. Wait, we had lines for you to read. I mean, this is a really good headshot. It looks just like him. I feel like this isn't actually him, though. No, it looks just like Mr. Beast. What are you talking about? Oh! And next we have a uh, Reggie. Reggie? How's it going, guys? Hey, how's it going, man? Nice to meet you. <sighs> Here for the Mr. Beast audition? Yeah, um, the YouTuber. Yeah, Mr. Beast. You, Mr. you know who? The guy on the internet? Mm -hmm. you know All the money, he does the, the yeah. giveaways and stuff. And like you're playing Mr. Beast. Like you are Mr. him. This guy. That's the one. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll let you know. I don't need to do anything? No, know? that was great. That was awesome. That was okay. great. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate your time. Thank you, you so much for coming fast. out. Yeah. Thanks for coming we'll in. We'll be in touch. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I think, I think he's a good candidate. He's great. Yeah. We are not going to be in touch. Uh, Christopher? How you doing? Chris. Uh, you work here. Yeah, but I thought it was a good opportunity to get paid a lot of money because, you know, Mr. Beast makes a lot of money. Okay. Um, at this point, we're running out of options. So, can you give me your best Mr. Beast intro? Stand up and give it to me. <coughs> okay. Right. Okay, see. Today, I'm going to give you all $100 million. Can you say, like, I'm Mr. Beast? I'm, or just gonna... <coughs> I'm Mr. Beast, and today we're doing real life squid games. Come on, man. You sound nothing like him. Do it again. I'm Mr. Beast, and we're doing. Dude, come on. Bro, it's harder than you think. I'm Mr. Beast, and we're doing Squid Game in real life. Chris, leave. Alright, my bad. Just get out of here. That was not gas. This whole thing is starting to look like a bust because we only have three auditions left. Uh, Jake? Yo, Jake, come in here. Hey guys, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Auditioning for Mr. Beast. This is your headshot? Yeah. This is a recent headshot. Yes. Do you know who Mr. Beast is? Have you heard of him? Or yeah. Yeah. Are you, are you free today? You, you have time? Uh, yeah, I think so. Hey, you got the part. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, man. This is Jake, and he is a dead lookalike for Mr. Beast. So, we're going to use him to fool the internet. Right, we still have two more auditions. I don't care. Send them home. Uh, Who's the Hollywood really... director? I don't care. Send them home. But first, Jake, we have to transform your look. You ready? Uh, sure. Let's break the internet. We had Casey scour the internet for the best makeup artist in Hollywood. This is Tess. She's a makeup artist specializing in cinema quality prosthetics. We looked through her website and she's worked with Netflix, HBO Max, and more. So obviously Jake looks a lot like Mr. Beast, but do you think you can take him that last 10% to get him all the way there? I think so. I think with like a little bit of trimming in his beard and I'll lay in some hair over here and we can do some dye. But first, I think he needs a haircut. Okay, haircut it is, let's go. And this is Davio. Davio, you think you can make him look like him? Mm, I'll try. All right, let's do it. It looks just like him. Yeah. I think it is him. Do I win $10,000? <laughs> no. All right, so the haircut looks great. What are we gonna do to him now? We're gonna trim down these sides a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna shingle in some fake hair to give him some light scruff, and then we're gonna take out this beautiful ginger color that you have <laughs> going on here for more of a 
ash dark blonde. Okay. And you think he's gonna look super different after? I think he's gonna look like Mr. Beast. Right. Okay, so we'll come back in a few hours when he's done. Let's do it. Open your eyes on three, two, one. Oh! oh. Okay, I see well, Okay. It. The facial hair addition is crazy. Yeah, it looks like it's actually your hair. Oh, okay, I see it now. Put this one for me. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I see it. Cold, hard cash. <laughs> we'll work on the voice a little bit. <laughs> so this was Jake before, and this is Jake now. You look so much like Mr. Beast. I'm honestly floored. I think you look great. How do you feel? I feel I feel good. I, I, I feel like Mr. Beast. Hey, can you say I'm Mr. Beast for me? I'm Mr. Beast. That was terrible. <laughs> Every day he survives in this room, I give him $10,000. Every day he survives in this room, I give him $10. $10. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right direction already. Like You're getting the, the speed and the flow of it. I think what we need to do is we need to practice this for a minute and then we should shoot a Mr. Beast intro with him and see how it looks. Okay, okay. let's do it. Remember, the entire idea here is to fake the internet with a fake Mr. Beast clone. If we can do that, if we can trick the world, the real Mr. Beast might put me in a YouTube video. Guys, if this doesn't work and Jake can't pull this off, we're gonna have to start over from the beginning. So please, now more than ever, we need your help. Subscribe, comment down below. Let us know what you think. Is he gonna pull it off? Can we do this? Let's try. Right behind me, I have a brand new car. And right behind me, I have three of my friends. Guys, raise your right hand. Now put them down. The last person to take their hand off the car keeps it. All right, what do you think? That is Jake, I mean Jimmy's, first YouTube intro ever. Did he sell it? Comment it down below. Now, on to phase number two. Can we fool other people? Can I fool my friends? Can we fool the internet? You ready? Let's do it. Hey, Let's hey. do it. Hey. What? Can I go to the bathroom? I still haven't gone yet. No. All right, don't tell Jake, but there are actually two little things that I'm worried about. Number one, he talks a little bit different than Mr. Beast himself. I'm Mr. Beast. That was terrible. And number two, his eyes are a little different. So we're gonna go to Target, buy him some nice Mr. Beast aviator sunglasses, and hopefully that'll add to the look. Then we'll go try to fool my friends. Let's do this. All right, challenge number one for Jake is to see if people fall for his disguise. We're gonna send him into Target. If the general public thinks he's Mr. Beast, then we're on to a really good start. We're gonna put a microphone on him, we're gonna follow him around and see if anybody recognizes him. You ready? Let's do it. That's pretty good. Kids, they just look over, but no luck. Now we are on to the ultimate test to get Mr. Beast to notice us. We need to go and create a viral video. Hopefully he'll see it. We have a bunch of ideas. We have a bunch of things we're gonna film and we're gonna see which video gets the most views. Let's do this. So apparently we're going to film a video of me eating what appears to be mayonnaise out of a mayonnaise jar, but will actually be vanilla pudding and uh, making some viral TikToks about it. <laughs> it is gold, bro. Yep, this is it. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is it for sure. Yeah. How do we top that? Um, swing set? Yeah. Um, the uh, baby swings try to get in there. Okay. That could work. Let's, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. This is perfect. Yeah, uh, that was no acting required. That was very uncomfortable. Alright, you ready? Let's do it. I'm not sure if it, that one looks like him as much. Yeah. Yeah. Potential's there. Potential's there. But we don't know if it will execute or not. Okay, Jake, why are you holding this onion in front of Ralph's? Because we're going to try to make a viral TikTok of me as Mr. Beast just eating an onion walking out of Ralph's. Does Mr. Beast actually do that? You know, I don't know, but my money would be on no. Money shot. Money shot. <laughs> 
listen, 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 that's how we can go. Listen, that's viral, viral, that's viral. All right, that's good, that's good. And don't forget, if I get in a Mr. Beast video, I'm gonna split all the money that I win with you guys. So make sure you subscribe and tag along. All right, so that is everything that we needed to fill with Jake as Mr. Beast. Hopefully it fools the internet. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. I feel like one of them could actually fool. I think I think so too. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. Yeah, your finest work. Yeah. All right, we'll see what happens. See you in a bit. We posted the TikToks with the fake Mr. Beast about seven days ago. We posted some to my page and some of them to a brand new page with zero followers. I haven't watched them yet. I have no idea how many views I got. So let's check it out for the first time together right now. All right, so. Some mixed responses here. Some videos did really well, some did really badly. Let's go from worst to best. First, we have this TikTok right here. It's a video where Mr. Beast walks up to a random guy and makes him tie his shoe. We thought it'd be pretty funny if Mr. Beast went and paid somebody to tie his shoes. Only 70 views. This one is a total fail. This one is him sadly on a seesaw by himself with nobody else around. This looks painful. He just keeps hitting his butt on the ground. It looks bad. Only about 500 people saw this one. Total fail. Okay, now onto the fourth video, and this is where things get interesting, because we posted the last two videos on my page. This video is Mr. Beast on a swing set by himself, looking lonely. He's trying to get in like a child swing, so he doesn't fit. He's just trying to like, you know, inch on in there. This one got over 110,000 views, which is pretty good for TikTok. Not great, but a lot better. He looks a lot more like Mr. Beast. This video looks more real. All right, now onto the last video, and this one is by far the best performing one. Almost 700,000 views when we filmed this. It could have way more by the time this video gets posted. This one, where he's in the middle of the park eating mayonnaise out of a jar. Disgusting, people are walking by. It looks a lot like Mr. Beast. It's a really, really short clip. I mean, he just takes a big old spoonful of mayo. It's disgusting. I think this one worked. I think we fooled the internet on this video, but on all the other ones, total fail. Let me know what you guys think. I think this TikTok is a nine and a half out of 10. We were so close, but not quite there. We didn't fool the entire world, but we fooled a lot a lot of people with this. All right, if you're still watching this, let me know down below. Did we do it? Is this a success or a failure? Personally, I think it's kind of a failure. We tricked hundreds of thousands of people, but we have to fool millions if we wanna go mega viral and get Mr. Beast's attention. In the next video, we're gonna go bigger than ever before. We are going to buy Mr. Beast an island. I'll see you there.